Hello, you Beat Saber lovers. Now, as some of you may know, I love myself a little bit of Beat Saber, and I love different ways to try and mix up the gameplay and to make it more challenging, more fun, and do whatever I can to make myself like a badass Jedi. And so the lovely folks at ProTube VR sent me a Pro Saber VR, which is basically a peripheral for you to attach your move controllers to on either end, and then you'll basically feel like Darth Maul playing Beat Saber. So in this video, I'm just going to show you some gameplay of me using it and give you my thoughts on what it's like and how much I enjoy it. Now, I will leave a link to the Pro Saber VR on ProTube VR's website in the description below if you want to check it out yourself. As you can see, it's not just for the PSVR. You can use it for Quest and Rift and all sorts of different headsets, and you can customize the look of it as well with either carbon fiber finish or a chrome finish. And you can also change the color of the cups as well. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so first off, so in order to be able to play with this, really what you're going to need to do is go to the modifiers and select no arrows. Because 9 times out of 10, if you try and play the songs normally with the arrows up and down using the Pro Saber, you will fail miserably. But don't worry because it is still a lot of fun with no arrows using this peripheral. It is awesome. Obviously, there's already different skill levels on Beat Saber from easy up to expert plus. And I myself usually play on expert plus, but with this, I have to step it down to expert and sometimes even hard to even be able to get through a song to survive it. Because it is a completely new skill set and it is very hard to use, but it is very cool. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to overkill and let's check this out on a high difficulty setting. instant death. This peripheral is not going to be something that's going to improve your scores in any way shape or form. This is purely for fun and my god I have so much fun using this. You could be really dumb and silly and just twirl it like mad. You will instantly fail but what I like to do sometimes is put into no fail and then I can just twirl it like a lunatic and then just have a bit of fun and see how I get on. And the move controllers go nowhere. No matter how much twirling you do, no matter how much you fling it about, they are super secure with these straps. They just get held in so perfectly and it's super easy to untie and put them back on. It does its job perfectly. My only concern when using this is that as you've got your headset on, you're not even looking at your hands. You're trying to grip it and then twist it around. You're basically letting go and grabbing again constantly if you're going crazy with it. And it's kind of hard to keep your grip on it. The quality of the Pro Saber is very, very solid. It doesn't look or feel cheap. It feels nice and weighty, but still light, if that makes sense. You can just tell it's not a cheap product. Okay, well, there you go. So that's just got a few different clips of me playing with this. I really do like this, man. It is, it is brilliant. It adds so much more fun to it. When you build up your skills, you can look like a complete badass. I am nowhere near that yet. But there's a few times when you do some twirls and you, you get away with it. And you're like, oh, man, that felt so good. But yeah, if you're a Beat Saber enthusiast and you want to try something out a little bit different than normal, then I definitely recommend this. This is so much fun. But that's it for the video. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more VR videos on VR peripherals and gameplay from the Quest and PSVR, then please do subscribe and hit that like button. Oh, oh, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. Otherwise, you'll miss my videos because YouTube hates people that don't hit the bell. But that's it for the video. So thank you very much for watching and I will catch you later.